YouTube, welcome to my British coin collection. I've been collecting for about two years now and I thought I might as well just show them off. I'll start with the great British coin hunt, just Olympic coins. You can get a version of this with the um, the water going over the head, which is worth about £3,000, which I sadly do not have. The football coin here is worth about a tenner to fifteen pounds on eBay. And I've got about two somewhere around the house. I think the pentathlon is um quite rare as well. About a fiver I think. I think there's more. And the completed medley, whatever it's called. Um, this whole collection is worth about about seventy to a hundred pounds. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. I haven't checked in quite a while. But I've got all the Olympic ones. That took quite a while to collect. Next is the the pound coins. Like the most common one. You see them everywhere. By the way, all of these are circulated because uh, who can be bothered to waste their money on, like, online? If I find a shinier one, I always swap them out. Missing that one, I don't know where it's gone. Oh, it's here. Wait a second, it's falling out. This book's quite old, so some of them fall out. I have to stick blue sack behind them. A lot of these are common, but these ones, Cardiff, London, Belfast, and Edinburgh. Um, what one's worth the most? I think it's... One of them is worth quite a lot, and I forgot what one it is. But the, the whole set of them is worth quite a lot, I think it's like £20 for just four of them, or even more than that I think, I'm not sure, but they're really hard to find, I've got somewhere as well, over here, Belfast, I think Belfast is the most money one, and uh, it costs the most and I've got two luckily, only problem is, uh, these books are quite old, so they don't have um, 2016 and 17. Um, coins, for like the slots, so I pretty much forget to collect those. Next is just like ones what aren't Olympic, I'm not even sure what you call these ones, but it's probably my favourite collection. Yet again, I don't have the 2016 and 17 one, um, somewhere I think I have them, but I don't know where. Yet again, a really common one, NHS. I think the European Union's worth about a fiver. I'm not hundred percent sure. More than face face value. A lot of these are really common, but then you get this one, Kew Gardens. I think yeah, it says there two hundred and ten thousand were issued. And this one is circulated. Um my mum works in a bank, so she she's most of the time she don't have enough time to find uh, look out for coins, but she always looks out for this one, and has managed to find one. But my sister also has a mint condition one. Um, all of a sudden they become really popular, and it was selling for like two hundred pounds, but she never sold it. But this one here is circulated for now. It sells about sixty to one hundred pounds. Apparently this one is worth quite a lot, but I've got so many, and they're all going on eBay for so cheap, so I think it's just a lie.
That's that one. That set's worth about more than more than what's it? Not this one. Not power one. More than the Olympic one because it's what's it? It's got the Kew Gardens one, so I'm not sure how much it's worth. Next is two pound coins. Common one. Get them all the time. I don't really know much about this um, two pound coin, so I know that these ones, obviously I haven't got three of them out of the four, but they sell for quite a lot, and I'm not sure how much, but I know that they're like the most sought after ones out of like all of these. Um, yeah, I sadly haven't got those ones. They're quite hard to find because they all look the same, but yeah. This one is also worth a lot because I don't have it and see them on eBay for quite a lot. I've never actually seen one in real life. And the Britannia one, I think that's 2016, yeah. That's that one. And now the overflow like um things this come out of a case i've got the case from like I think it was little for like a tenner because it was really quite cheap so i was like oh, i'll get that here yeah, i saw you uh showed you earlier belfast again i think this one is this 20p is a uh, gibraltar one no it's not worth that much this one um I'm not sure. I think this is also Gibraltar. They're quite hard to get out, but I'll leave it in there. I'm, I've never seen one. This is not the only one I've got, but it's not worth any money, so... Oh, well. Another Belfast one. I didn't even know I had that. All right. All right. Next, what shall we do next? This is, like, the overflow of the common 50Ps, which I have. Uh, judo. What is that? Fencing. Uh, rowing. It's quite hard to see it through the camera, so if I get any wrong. You've probably seen most of these before. Another rowing one. Now my favourite type of coins are these ones here. It's like... I think... Savage... Gibraltar, I think it is. Yeah, it is. It's the Gibraltar one. I don't know why I just like them so much. I haven't got... I like Isle of Man ones as well. I think they're just better because you don't get much of them in London. This is uh, Isle of Man. These motorbike ones, they're really popular though. Not worth anything. Another Britannia. Mary Rose ship, I think it's called, is it? Something like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. Uh, these ones, why have I got so many? Um, what's that one? That's quite cool. Also, really like these ones. Um, they're only two peas, but you don't see many of them at all. So, I think they're Gibraltar. This one is. Wait, where is it? There it is. Um, oh, I love man. I didn't even know. God, it's so hard to look for a camera. It's just a ship. They're not worth anything, but I like them. This one as well is really cool. It's like a harp, I think it's called a harp. I like that design. These are all circulated, so I don't expect the best condition. Also, finally, the last ones. I'll show you these ones first. Um, Capture of Gibraltar. No, these are still my favourites, these type, wait, let me just move one of these, oh no, don't worry, I'll do that later. I'm not sure where this is from, Isle of Man, yeah, it's Isle of Man. I like that one. Battle of Hastings, another one, those are quite popular. Now, the Beatrix Potter set, 
Um, I have quite a lot, but not. I have one collection, but I've almost complete. I need three more to complete a second. But there's like, I'm gonna eventually get a book, but I just haven't for some reason yet. Peter Rabbit, Miss Diggy Winkle, Gemma Puggle Duck. That one's worth about five. Uh, I know. I think it's like eight quid actually. Looked the other day. I found that one as well the other day. So I just stuck it in the collection. Squirrel Nutkin, Tiggy Winkle, and Tiggy Winkle. But um, they're bringing out more in like later on this year, I think. So I'm just gonna wait until those come out and I get the whole book full. So I'm not gonna buy a book at the moment. So um, these have been on my coins. Let me get more organised. I'm only 15, so like when I'm when I get money in a change, I literally just check. I don't buy anything online. I don't have like online accounts or anything. Those are. Oh wait, no, I still got more. I forgot about these ones. This one I found in my nan's house. Um, in what's it? Like songs of the war, like old cassette CD thing. But I just found this 50p and so on, and I was like, right, I keep that loose, like, it's quite hard to do it with one hand, but it's loads of information, this thing. This is the back of it, mint condition, this one. It's, I don't think it's worth much, but it's quite cool. 1994. And it's the first D-Day landing, I'm pretty sure. Let me get it focused, there we go. Really cool, it's mint, though, I really like just finding... It's almost like a barn find, but in my nan's house. And I've got another one here. Um, it's the exact same one, but it's just in a different case. 1994. Oh, including two pounds, I didn't even know. Bank of England. That one's quite popular, I think. Another D-Day landing. And just like 1P2P, all of those. Mint condition. Don't think it's worth that much, so i just keep it, just keep collecting. Hang on, let me just put this away, I'll do it later. Anyway, these are all my coins, what I've got. So, yeah, haven't bought any, just found them. Thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Kew Garden, most expensive one. So these ones here I all got from um, just looking at the change and stuff. And then I put them in um, these plastic bags. So we've got the uh, Swimming Aquatics. It's a good one. We've got the Peter Rabbit. There it is. Um, Battle of Britain. The WWF. That's that's one of my favourites actually. That's quite rare. I think it's the third rarest coin. Then we've got another Peter Rabbit. Uh, Battle of Hastings. I've got two or three of those. Then we've got, what's this one? We've got the Table Tennis Olympics. That's also quite a rare one. The, another Battle of Britain. So I've got two Battle of Britons. I think this is the uh, something to do with the alphabet. I'm not too sure. I'll look that up. Then we've got uh, Squirrel Nutkin. It's also a really nice one. We've also got the, uh, yep, two pound coin. The First World War. It's quite a nice one. Uh, this is one of the my favourite coins. It's the uh, one pound Edinburgh. Now these sell for quite a lot. I think around like twenty to twenty five pounds. Um, then we've also got Benjamin Britten. There it is another two pound coin. I'm not too sure which one this is. If you guys know, please tell me in the comments below. Then we've got Mrs. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Twiggy Winkle. I like that one a lot. Uh, I think this is, I think this is Battle, yeah, I think this is another version of Battle of Britain. I really like that one, it's one of my favourites. Then we've got the Shield. Shield. But this one. And we got another Peter Rabbit. How many Peter Rabbits do I have? I've got three Peter Rabbits, guys. Three, look. One, two, three. Three Peter Rabbits. Um, then I've got this £2, and the last one, Benjamin Britten, another Benjamin Britten. So, all those I got from, um, just, yeah, just change, 
they're all in really good condition. Now I'm going to show you some bought. So this phone, I'm no um, didn't buy this one actually. I just found this. I thought maybe it's like worth something because it's got three sevens. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But um, yeah, bought this. The last uh, uncirculated, the last round pound. There it is. So yeah, it's a cool one. This is uh, just another. Yeah, just these to be coins. And then this is my favourite coin. Bought it uncirculated for like seventy pounds, I think. Here it is. Just gonna open it for you. Just gonna put the camera down. Here we go. So it's a raw mint, uncirculated, silver-proof, pied foot, fifty pence coin. Look at that, absolute beauty. There it is. So it's my favourite coin. I bought it a BU, brilliantly uncirculated. So yeah, it comes with a certificate. I think it, yeah, it also came with a. So it came with a coin calendar. Let me just get that out for you guys. There you go, coin calendar. So yeah, so that's uh, that's a few of my coins. Uh, if you like this video, please leave us a fun, uh, thumbs up and tell me in the comments if you want me to do a part two. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Peace.